Hi, I'm Rachel, and this video is going to show a reinforced ruck with some tips for getting the reinforcing cross passes high and tight. Um, and this carry can be done with a four or five, or this is a six. Um, probably not smaller than a three unless you're very, very petite. Um, you're going to start the wrap centered on your baby's back. Come here, baby. Mama. Hey, do you want some cell phones? Yeah. Woo! You want cell phones? Um, and you're going to start by taking both tails over your shoulders, just like, ah! just like a regular rep. Okay, you want this? Or you want more chips? You want chip free chan? Okay, so you pin the two top rails. Um, you can hold it under your chin or bite with your teeth. And then reach back, pull all the slack out. Reach in between you and baby. And then I like to kind of hook my fingers in the rack and kind of bring it up and see how I sort of hooked it with my middle finger there. That gets you a nice deep seat. A nice deep seat will help you out a lot in this carry. So then I'm going to work with one set at a time, just taking out slack. So I usually bite this one, I could pin it. And just take out slack to the top, the middle, through the bottom. Pin that one between your legs. I'm going to switch which hand I'm holding up on because he likes to straighten his legs while I'm wrapping all the time. So then I'm going to do the same thing, straighten the top, or tighten the top, tighten the middle, tighten the bottom. Getting the slack out of the middle of the wrap is what prevents it from being saggy. And then I'm going to take the dark blue rail, which is the bottom rail here, or the outside one. I'm going to take this whole tail back, but I'm going to try to pass myself to the other hand, the dark rail. And then I want to get it up high on his back, and that's actually really tricky, so there's a couple things you can do. One thing you could do is try to grab it here and then sort of shimmy it up there back like a towel kind of like see how high you can get it. Get it as high as you can. It can only go as high as your arm can anyway since it's coming from under your arm. And then I strand by strand tighten that and then keeping a lot of tension that top rail just tuck it under the leg. Okay. What happened? What's wrong? Then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Actually, I'm going to fix this really quick because i got a lot of slack in my bottom rail over here. And I'm just going to feed that around and down. Alright, same thing on the other side. I'm going to bring the whole tail back, but I'm going to try to pass myself the blue rail. And then hook my finger here. Kind of shimmy like you're drying your back with the towel. Get this as high as I can get it. And then over here, I'm going to strand by strand take out Slack, pick it out through the bottom, tuck it under that leg. And I'm going to feel on the shoulder, see if there's any extra slack. Feel the shoulder. And here, this is how long the tails are for me for a six. You can tie in front, you can tie Tibetan, you can do any variation you want. And periodically, you can kind of reach back and just feel that these passes are still nice and high on the back. Okay, that's reinforced rock tied in front.